What's up guys, Commando Santa here, back again at Buffalo Valley, welcome back everyone. Um, today, if you probably saw by the thumbnail or whatever I posted, or you maybe you don't know, today we, lurk, we work on a train, as you can probably see right now. I mean, if you're not watching the video, but regardless. Um, so, I really wanted to get the train out of the way, because for one thing, I, I love trains, so trains are fantastic, and... I had this like amazing idea with oh, with over that entrance kind of pathway. The way I had the sign set up for Buffalo Valley for the entrance, I, I just all of a sudden was like, hmm, I kind of want a train track rail or like a train bridge to go over that. And that would look fantastic. And there's this one um, park by me, uh, Letchworth, Letchworth State Park. And they have this huge train bridge. And I kind of wanted to replicate that on here, so, but it's, it's a, you know, a way smaller scale, but it's got like, you know, it's built with like all the old wood and, you know, people would like climb up there and stuff and it just looked really cool. Um, if you can probably see right now, I had a lot of issues with the train tracks staying like relative to the ground. Uh, so I don't know if maybe I was using, cause was, I was using auto tunnel or something like that, but for some reason the there was like a bubble around it and if i would like lower the terrain from what it already was it would never get back to being under the track and it just really frustrated me so i think i found a solution to do that if you, if you guys saw i just raised the terrain as high as i could and then do did the um like the terrain carve tool the tunneling tool as uh, as you're going through it and I, then I like went back later and smoothed it out and made it look okay. But then if you saw, like I went down a little too far in some places and I could never get it back. So I don't know. The thing with Planet Coaster and their train tracks is it's really, really good for flat ground, but not good at all for, for like terrain pieces and going up and down and stuff because you find yourself using, you know, no snapping whatsoever. And you get these tracks that are just going up and down and up and down and up and down and that that it doesn't look right. It that's not how trains are supposed to be. So I thought maybe like carving would look, would would work better and look better and I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I think it turned out okay, but a little disclaimer here that we're gonna talk about real quick. Uh yes, I'm doing the train right now, but we are not going to be doing the rest of the track for probably some time. I kind of wanted to lay the groundwork down first. Um, one of the things that I kind of wanted to get out of the, out of the way was the train station. Uh, the train station is pretty important to me in the fact that it's going to set the scene of the entire the entirety of the park, and it it had to look really good. It had to be one of the, the most iconic things in the park. It had to look the best. And it's one of the things I spent... This is the thing I spent most of my time on this past like this past week. I think I spent more time on this than I did the past two buildings we did. Like the entrance and that little lodge. I spent more time on this of between both of them combined. This was by far the best build I've done. I'm Personally, this is by far the best thing I've ever done. I am so happy with the way it came out and I can't wait to get you guys feedback on this because it just looks fantastic with all the scenery down and everything uh, it just it just makes me so happy and I know it's going to look a heck of a lot better once we add different things to it like you know have just some rides around it and stuff but I don't know it just makes me really happy that it came out so well uh, right now we are we have started the I have started the station but, you know, I'm talking in past tense because I'm not recording this as I'm building it because I would sound like a chipmunk because I, I sped this this video up for like 500% just to fit the whole thing in. And I'm sorry in advance, but I did cut out a lot of detail work. Um, one thing I do enjoy doing is posting the whole entire video, but sped up to a point. I couldn't do it with this video. Even sped up to like 500%, this came out to like an hour and a half long. 
And this is a long video already. This is, I think this is my longest video. I think we're pushing 40 minutes, probably even more, because I plan on doing a live commentary after this. So the sped up part is roughly 39 minutes. So let's just round it up to 40 minutes. This is a long video. I did probably another two hours work on just placing rocks, placing trees, placing bushes, all on my own with no one watching me. Just, you know, I would like leave, come back, play some more things, leave, think about it a little bit, come back, be like, hmm, I should add some more trim here, or this needs a little bit more detail here. Or, you know, I'd go to bed, wake up the next morning, like, man, this needs some more work, or I should go back and redo it. Because that's the thing I was saying, you know, I want this to be one of the most iconic things here. It's like, oh, awesome train station. This is this is super important. This needs to be perfect. Like you, this is one of the first things you people are going to see when they come in the park is the big old train station. And you guys probably see I already named it Elma Station. Um, I got that name from a town that's actually by me. It's called Elma. Yeah, that's about it. That was that was the extent of my thought process on that. I don't know. Elma just means a lot to me. And, you know, it just it sounded really cool for like a frontier station. Like, oh, we're going to get on the train in Elma station. Like, yeah, it just sounds good. But um, <clears throat> going along with this build process, I spent a lot of time on Google looking at different kind of um, different kind of train stations. I'm like, I spent a good few hours trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to even start out with. Um, I And it's kind of funny, like, I think in the last episode I talked about, I didn't want this to be a Western park, because this is far from a Western park. Maybe that I just maybe I was just thinking about that, but I didn't want it to be a Western park, because this is a frontier park, you know? I mean, frontier, Western, they're kind of hand in hand, kind of not, but... At the end of the day, I wanted this to be more of a national park looking thing. But I found myself looking at Western style wooden train stations. I didn't want a fully enclosed one because that would look, it wouldn't look right. And one of the biggest things to see is that very long pavilion in the front where everyone's standing under and everything. And that has to be like one of the biggest things of the, you know, this place. We all the seats, people sitting down talking, getting ready for work or whatever they're doing out here, you know, maybe waiting for food, waiting to get into town uh, via the train, stuff like that. But so I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to do an enclosed station and I didn't want in this. I didn't want it to even be small. I kind of wanted, wanted it to be bigger. So I spent a little time. And I actually found something I really, really enjoyed. I made a conglomeration of pictures on my one monitor like I do with the last one. And I just kind of just went crazy, you know. As I was going, I was bringing up more pictures. And and I would stop for a little bit and go for a walk and come back and just think about it. Like, hmm, what else can I add? What should this look like? But the thing I'm actually kind of happy about with this one is I didn't scrap it. I, I never had the feeling I wanted to scrap this because it was just, it, it came along so well and it looks so good. Um, yeah. So one of the, one of the other things that I also want to touch on was just kind of like how to detail things better. Um, as you can tell, I already talked about, uh, you know, spending your time on Google, doing all your research, getting a lot of, you know, like getting a lot of pictures up in front of you. I can tell you that, you know, until I blew in the face, but it's one of those things that I see a lot of people doing. And I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Everyone has their own thing. You know, everyone has their own way of playing this video game. I love making realistic looking structures and spending way too much time when I could be doing other things with my life. But instead, I'm actually, you know, spending probably six hours to make a train station that isn't even going to do anything for a while. Like, you know, you guys know me. I haven't done anything really planet coastery in this entire game. We haven't yet to make this at a theme park. We have a train station. We have a train that goes nowhere and comes from nowhere. We have a park entrance that looks really nice and a building that doesn't mean anything. But everyone plays this game differently. But one of the things I see a lot of new players doing 
which I hope they, I kind of want to get this off my chest so that, you know, they can get out of this state as quick as possible. Is they'll, they'll, let's say they have a, I don't know, like, let's, let's say they have like a kiosk or some kind of shop. They take the shop, they put four walls around it, one of the walls being like the cutout, and they put a roof on it, and they say it's done. They may put like a window or something. That is perfectly accept acceptable. But one of the things that separates, you know, the way maybe I build or like Silverette or like all these other people build is they will, you know, they won't just do the four wall roof combo. They may do four walls, but then they'll spend so much more time making it look fantastic. And one of the ways, you know, they'll make it fantastic is they'll get their reference images and then they'll sit down and think, unless you're so silver red or like the lady designer all of them they'll you know they they seem to have like the talent they'll just go for it but me personally i sit down i'll do all my research and and then you take your four walls and you're like how can i expand on it you know let's add some trim here let's add some windows here let's make this building look like it belongs here and all that kind of stuff but you know another thing is you know making it look like it's lived in if it's an open building or or if you're working on scenery wise you know make it look like it's lush or if you're in a desert make it look very dry you know fit the theme that you want to work with you know you can go i mean the game's up to you i mean this game is perfectly magical in the sense that you can do whatever you want but you know if you want to get like more of the realism and and you know get people impressed with what you're doing you know, spend some, you know, you got to spend the time on it. You got to, you got to practice, you know, take a look at a lot of buildings and stuff. I mean, man, I, I kind of sound like, you know, I'm like tearing people down, but I don't know. They, that's just the way I think about it. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's the little things. It's that's, that's the detail oriented part of it. It's the little things that matter. You know, you can have, you know, your post, you can just literally have a post holding up, you know, a roof. Or you can have the post and add, you know, little bits on the on each side and and like a flower pot hanging from it and maybe have a different part that's painted a different color, you know, each to their own. If you're one of those guys who likes to play floor walls and, you know, spend your time doing other things. Awesome, man. Keep keep up the great work, you know, show me, show me what you're doing. I don't care. It's awesome. Everyone plays this game different, but Man, I don't know. It just sound like sound terrible. I don't know that that makes me feel like I'm like a terrible person for saying that. But everyone plays the game different, but that's fine. You know, I don't know what you know. I don't know. But going back to what we we're doing in this building, I'm probably around right now. Yeah, we're getting almost to the halfway point. And man, this has been so long already, and we're all, we're not even at the halfway point yet. But. I really enjoyed the way I made the, uh, made kind of the, like the upper section here and I actually add like this little spire at the top of it and you'll see what I mean later, but, uh, I guess let's go into the planning phase of the video. Um, one thing I'm planning on adding next is a wooden roller coaster. I know maybe I'll actually finish a ride one of these days. Maybe I'll let you know. But yes, I'm thinking about adding a wooden roller coaster. And I kind of want, I, I've been doing a lot of research on wooden roller coasters lately. I do not have like the smarts and like know exactly like the makes and models and all the different kinds of wooden roller coasters. You know, there's a few parks by me that have wooden roller coasters. That's literally all I know. So I went to YouTube and started watching like, you know, videos that people take in while on the on the roller coaster and everything and I found one I really liked and I, I really want to incorporate it into um, our video here well into our into our park and um, I'm not going to spoil what the roller coaster is you guys will figure that out in the next episode but uh, it's it's really cool so it, it it actually you know the chain hill goes up one of the one of the mountain sides and it actually stays relatively low compared to the elevation and like the angles of the mountain. And it just follows the contours of the mountain. 
and doesn't really go high in the sense of like relative to the mountain even though it's like high in the sense of relative to the ground and it's just it's fantastic and and seeing a big wooden roller coaster that's actually like circling a mountain and going up and down and around and stuff i think that'll add it, it would look so nice and it would add like a nice backdrop to this place but i'm also probably going to add a few other things either off camera or on camera and and do like these little smaller episodes where we need to get some shops in here so because <laughs> i accidentally like leave the play leave the game playing a little bit after like i came back one day and everyone came into the park finally because they're like, oh my gosh so he placed a ride finally we can actually go on it and then they get over here and it's well it's closed and so they like walk back and they decide to go home and it's really sad so i'm like man i need to add a ride that they can actually use or add some shops so i can actually start stealing their money even though we have unlimited money but regardless um i left later in this episode you'll see this one part and I actually left a little area and I think it's to the left of this building in between the entrance and this building because if you see how I have the railroad tracks they they slowly mo go up in elevation towards the entrance of the park to go over that entrance entrance blockway and it actually makes like this kind of like hill grade and I was kind of playing with the elevation around there later I actually think I did that off camera but I was playing with the elevation and I ended up um, I ended up uh, kind of making a cliff face of kind of like an arc. And I'm like, and I stopped for a second. I'm like, hmm, I could actually place like a little shop facility here. And that actually might look really nice. So I think maybe like I'll do an intermittent, uh, intermittent episode in between like this and our big coaster build and do a like, like a shop or like a food court or something like that. And it'll have, like, the information kiosk and everything so people can get, like, maps and stuff for the park. And maybe I'll place balloons, but I think right now, I think Planet Coaster is still bugged with that balloon issue where everyone flocks to the balloon place and it's just carnage. It's just straight up carnage. But maybe I'll test that out just to make sure before I actually go placing one. But because I don't want that to happen because I because you know watching everyone's playthroughs like they place a balloon chopper everywhere and they're like n you can't place enough of those things and and people are like killing each other just to get a freaking balloon you know but I'll definitely try that and make sure before I actually do that so so maybe once I actually get the food court going I'll actually you know when I'm building leave it go just so we can actually see some action going on the park and then we'll get to placing some more rides um, so we're at the point where I am getting to the point where I'm getting sick of talking. So I don't know. I might not talk this whole episode, but we'll see how I feel about it when I get to the end of it. Cause I'm doing one recording of it. I'm not going to redo this cause this is like 40 minutes long, but, um, this one part here, I, so going back to what we were talking about, actually, this is actually a really good plan even though we're just looking at the other side. Um, if you remember, I just added a like little side area that kind of looks like a shed. And if you remember what we were talking about earlier, you know, you know, the four walls and an entrance, you know, and a roof. I, I was actually unhappy with, you know, the way this building looked for a minute. And I'm like, what can I do to make this look better? And I ended up adding this little shack on that other side. And Later in the episode, there's actually a path that goes to that shed, and I, I actually made that little like side shed a really important part into into this like into this building, and I'm so happy with it, you know. And I guess another little tidbit of information I could add is just just add stuff, and just keep adding stuff, and it's kind of the whole mentality of like throw as much as you want against the wall, and something will stick, you know. So if you keep adding things and keep, you know putting some time into different parts of this building or whatever you're working on something will stick and you will be very happy with that something that sticks you know it's like me I was actually very happy that I didn't have to redo anything with this with this building you know I didn't wipe it out I didn't you know I didn't have to like redo the whole entire thing 
even I know at the beginning I did like a little bit of redo, but I generally kept the the same shape. But but I, I, I don't know, just a little sidetrack, you know. That kind of seeing that part of the video kind of got me thinking about that. But I think right now, as long as this is synced up correctly, we are working on the spire that I was talking about earlier, and I think that kind of um, that block and the way it looks really finish the building to, for me and once I add all the details it's one of like the big the biggest most memorable part about this building and I'm just so happy with the way it turned out I'm like yes uh when I when I stopped and added all the scenery and then like I took you know I always take like some steam workshop well, not steam workshop like just like steam uh, screenshots and I spent some time just kind of like staring at it and I was so impressed with that. I was actually sending pictures to all my friends. I'm like, check this out. Look what I did. You know, it's like, and they were like, holy crap, you planet coaster, you can do that in them. I'm like, yes, you can. And they were very impressed. And I'm sure some of them probably bought the game already. And, you know, maybe they're watching my videos, you know, but, and it's, you know, it's a little detail things, you know, one thing if, you know, one thing to get out of this video, if you're watching it for learning purposes is detail 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 I'm probably gonna you know talk about this crap every single video is you know add details add details add details everyone loves details you know follow the contours of the roofs follow the contours of the building um, one thing with the wooden buildings that is just super easy to do is just do trim do trim with those big wooden logs that like are in the building in the building menus I think it's in like the supports there if you can see it's just these big wooden like two by fours or four by fours and you just add them to the roof and or add them to the walls and just do like a excuse me a, you just do a uh, just do a trim and it just looks it looks great you know oh right now I'm having some issues with this roof this is one of the things that I actually spent some time on and because Planet Coaster, for some reason with these wooden roofs, we don't have any, like, the corner pieces don't look right. And there isn't anything to, like, hang off the side. So if you know you have, like, the the pointed arch there, like, not really an arch, the pointed roof there, it can't go any further. So it's, like, completely flat and flush against the side of the building. So I end up doing, like, the, the, two, tri uh, the two arched roofs together. And I think that looked okay. And then I tried to like add my own like trim and it just looked silver and it looked disgusting. And I just was not happy with it. So I ended up deleting it and I actually ignored it and just never went back to it. And I think it's one of those things where because I'm so close to it, I'm spending way more time than I'm than I should be and adding too much detail or worrying too much about detail in that case. Because that's another thing. It's you're going to add all this detail and then you're going to be zoomed out the rest of the time. When you're building the building, that's as close as you're going to be to it. You know, the people, they don't really care. I mean, like the, the people in the park, they don't really care about how you, perfect your roof looks because in all honesty, they don't even see it. You're the one seeing the roof. You know, they don't care that you've spent some time trying to get like the perfect trims and everything. But for me, I care about that. But at some point, you got to like step back and be like, OK, let's calm down for a second. It doesn't need this much detail unless you're going to unless you really want this much detail. But for me, I made a design decision. I'm like, I'm done. I don't I'm not going to try and like recreate those like roof arches and the roof trim just to make it look OK. I'm just going to leave it at is, as is and and. In all honesty, it turned out great. You know, after, you know, after looking back and I'm like, wow, you know, it looks fine, you know. <clears throat> um, another thing, which I hope I'm doing right now, is one thing you can do with those wood panels is place them in such a way where it just comes up above the ground, but it still looks like, like the people are walking on it. And that's one way to like trick, kind of like trick it 
trick the game into thinking like looking like you're having like wood on the ground or if you're in the sci-fi theme like placing metal and stuff um i actually learned that from a recent youtube video i watched and like wow that's actually a really good idea so i ended up trying to do it here and i know with the exit paths for some reason there is no wooden kind of like normal paths so i had to do that with with um with wooden panels just to make it look like it's a wooden path but um also i ended up spending a lot of time off camera on the inside i forget if i said this or not but i actually did a lot of detail on the interior of the kind of like the the walking area because if you can see earlier i made like a snake path that goes to the inside and i don't know it just looked really boring when i was and i ended up being in there i was like man that's really boring so i actually went back to it later thinking about it later you know like i'm in bed thinking about this crap all the time and i went back and like let's add some stuff so i added a bunch of props on the inside and it looked great and, I'm, and i'll post a probably I'll, I'll post a picture of those as well and it just looks fantastic i'll probably never look at them again but i know it's there and it makes me happy so that's all that matters <laughs> And plus, you know, scenery terrain bonus for the people in the in the walking line, so in the queue line. So that's all that matters is getting that score up to 100 percent. That's what we do with this game. Get that score to 100 percent so people are happy while standing in line. And the thing is, with trains that I found, I think it's with trains and monorails is people don't really like to get in line unless it's like a good it's it's actually good to like take it somewhere or you have a lot of scenery around it i don't know if that's just me or the few occurrences that i've seen but i for the love for one of my past games i couldn't get people to ride on my train until i spent like the whole time making everything look fantastic around the stations around the track that's going through and I added a few triggers to like a you know and then finally, like, I would get, like, two people to ride it. And I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe it was just, like, a bug game or something, but I just had a hard time getting people to ride trains. So I don't want that happening with this game, so we add a lot of scenery. And luckily, I like adding scenery, so. Um, yeah, so we are getting to the end of this time lapse, and I don't know. I'm running out of things to talk about, so. Um what else what else what else um i talked about the roller coaster that we're possibly going to do oh one thing i did want to say is i know at this point when i'm recording this not a lot of people watch it but for those of you to do, who do watch it and stuff please give me some input on what you guys think and like give me some like ideas of what you'd like to see next i know one of my things is i spend a lot of time like man what should i add next what what would people want to like what what are people like want to see i mean i know i'm doing this like my own but you know i kind of want to get people's input on this because i think that would be really fun like hey you should do this and then i go do it and then it makes them happy and at the end of the day that's all that matters to me is making people happy so i don't know i i guess i'd really like some input on some of this stuff i mean i get some input on reddit but once this part comes together a little bit more, I'm sure little people will be like, well, you should add this. Oh, you should add this. You should, oh, you should add this. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm definitely not going to stop doing this because I'm having way too much fun. And I'm trying to keep up the weekly videos, but as I said earlier, I'm probably going to add like a few intermittent, like small, maybe like 10 minute videos where I make like a shop or something. It's just these big videos, like the big builds, they take a very long time. Like for some of these, I'm like up till midnight, up till one o'clock and me making sure everything is perfect. Cause as you can see from my work here, I'm a perfectionist. Like I can't leave anything not perfect. I watched my, I watched the video that I made like 20 times before I can even post it to YouTube. And even after I post to YouTube, I have to watch it and make sure it looks okay or in like, so I don't have to take it down and be like, damn, I have to redo it. But, you know, that's that's kind of my issue, which I talked about in like the first episodes. Like, I have like crazy OCD with this kind of stuff. That's why I love building games. It like gives me a 
you know, gives me something to do with my OCD to get it like, to get it out of my system, I guess. I don't know, it's like a drug, man, I don't know, but, <laughs> but, I don't know. Keeping up with what we're working on, I'm pretty much putting the finishing touches on everything. We're getting to the point where I'm putting up finishing touches. And I actually go back and redo a few different things because after, you know, like, this was this was over a few days, so I would go to bed, go to work the next day, and then come back and be like, man, I gotta do something different with this. And so I get home and I get on my computer, I'm like, well, let's do it. And I completely redo a few things that I didn't want to do. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just completely redo things and it just happens. That That's a standard part of doing building, like... I mean, I think I was talking about with the, with my lodge, like, I think I did like three different lodges before I was actually happy with the one I'd finished. Luckily, I caught myself like a little bit before the build, but I don't know. It's like, you know, you spend 20 minutes on it. I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't like the look of that. And then I deleted it. But now I'm actually happy with the lodge that came out. And I didn't have the issue with the, with this building, the train station. I was happy with the start till finish. Well, the finish I was really happy with, but you guys will see when we're done. Um, yeah, so the live part at the end should be pretty good. I did, I think I mentioned earlier, I did add a lot of things in between episodes. In between, I mean, in between what's going to be, um, what we're going to have finished here, and then what I actually, like, walk through. I spent a good two, three hours on, like, extra details and scenery and foliage and stuff. And I'll definitely talk more about that when we get there. But, um, <clears throat> so I had a, I've had a lot of great feedback so far, just kind of switching gears for a little bit. Um, and I, I mean, I feel like I'm rambling, but I guess this is what you guys are really enjoy is like my commentary th and the, you guys are like really like when I talk through the whole thing. So I'm definitely going to try doing that. But no promises on some of these really, really long episodes because I seem to like run out of things to talk about. I don't know, maybe I'll turn this into like my own little like, like vlog every week for myself just to like give me something to unwind and talk about like things that are going on. But I don't know, I kind of want to keep this semi professional and semi focused on like Planet Coaster, but maybe we'll do that as well. Hopefully I keep the episodes a little bit shorter from now on, but this was just such a big build and I didn't really want to split it up into two different kind of two different videos because there, it, it had to be all together. It's a big special beast of a thing and and I just wanted you guys to see the whole thing in one sitting. So I don't know. I'll try and keep, you know, I'm trying to keep commenting through the whole thing, but no promises that if we do like hour long videos, it's every so often, but. I really would enjoy doing live streaming if I get some people that are really interested in it maybe I'll like designate a day on the weekend to do it and we'll just go you know I'll build something then we'll spend the whole live stream like getting really into the detail stuff and you guys can ask me questions or whatever so I don't know, let me know if you guys are interested in that and I'll definitely be down to do that because I play this game a lot and when I'm playing it a lot off you know doing my own thing i don't know you guys are welcome to watch or welcome to come hang out and it's yeah i've already you know getting on one thing definitely join like the planet coaster community if you haven't already like reddit and like ev all the, like the facebook and you know the forums and everything the planet coaster community is by far the best community i have ever been a part of and i'm not even like a part of like a big part of it yet you know Everyone is so fantastic and everyone's so helpful and they just give great criticisms and everything. And I know personally, like, I enjoy helping people. I enjoy, like, critiquing people, you know. And it's all good things. Like, I'm not going to completely shoot you down for, like, something terrible. I'm going to, like, I'm going to tell you what you can improve upon. And that's why I keep telling people, like, feel free to add me on, like, any of your social media outlets. I think I'm on Twitter and Instagram right now but I mean gosh add me on Steam I don't care or like message me on Reddit or something or do a message to me on YouTube I don't care I'll I spend most of the time answering stuff for you guys so 
ask me questions. That's perfectly fine with me. Keep in touch. Like, I'll gladly help with any of your stuff. For sure. I I enjoy this game and I'm I like seeing people get really into it. I've already had some guy with like he one of my past builds that completely inspired him to do something like a Legend of Zelda theme park and it was fantastic and it made me it made me feel real good and it made me feel good to help someone, you know. I enjoy helping people with this game and this game brings out the best in people. This game is absolutely fantastic and you should tell all your friends about it. Everyone needs to play this game. You know, it's the best successor to Roller Coaster Tycoon we got, so. And the building is just fantastic, so. That's that's pretty much all. Uh, so, getting to the end of this video, um, working on the night, adding some good lights to it. I don't know. My lighting isn't the best, and that's one thing I'm going to work on. But, I don't know. I think it turned out okay. I just kind of want to make it so it generally look lit, generally look lit, but I don't think we're going to be doing a lot at night, but I mean, it will turn nighttime sometimes. Oh, this is the best part. This is when we add the sign and <laughs> it took me forever to find the sign I liked that will say Alma Station. Oh, so nice. Absolutely fantastic. But. And yeah, you know, talking about what we talked about last uh, last video is, I think mm, may have been the first video. You know, I I want everything to have a story here, and this is you know a big frontier station, and it's like, it's it's a staple for this place. People depend on this thing, and then, you know, it's like the community tries to keep it up and everything, and keep it functional, and the train will come here, even though the train's going to be for the park, and this is the theme park, but. You know, it's like I talk about, I wanted a story for everything. Everything is perfect. Everything needs a story. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the live commentary for when we walk through the park, because I think we're at the point where we're going to walk through the park. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in a moment. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back. So here we are. We are, um, yeah, this is the bridge I ended up making. I think it's fantastic. Actually, let's, let's uh, let me get the message back. Um, yeah, so, is this testing? Test, please. I hear it coming, but it's taking forever. There it is. But, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the bridge I made. I mean, I pretty much just added a few wooden things, but, I mean, there's nothing really else to add to it except for the top here, and it looks okay. And that's what I got. And here's our, you know, the entrance we looked at. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I don't know, it just looks so perfect with going over it. Ah, it makes me so happy. Here, let me get rid of the hood. There we go. There it goes. So you just walk in and you see it. And then off it goes. Because it's going to literally go to nowhere and fall off the track somewhere. But here's our entrance. You know, back in the day when we finished this a while ago. Man, it's been a long time since we did this. But and there's the lodge. We added a few things, but didn't really do much. And then here is the buttload of people coming in to just get disappointed when they come over here to see that it's closed. But... But man, look how this came out. Oh, it's just fantastic. This is the little path I was talking about over the side here. As you can see. And it is a path. People can walk down. I've, I had someone that was sitting over here on this little bench. Um, you can come around the corner. And there's the storage locker. Here's the actual station itself. Very detailed. I had a lot of like boxes and just stuff and chairs so you can like see it. <laughs> oh, it's back. It fell off. Ah, the sounds for it is fantastic, man. Um, what else? Yeah, just general scenery. I mean, everything around the station is going to pretty much stay the same, but everything probably like over here, it's not going to stay the same. 
Oh, this is what I was talking about. I'm probably going to turn this area into a food court or something. Maybe like a shop or two, maybe three. But I'd have it split up into two, as you can see. I think we're going to have like a waterfront in front of the little lake over there. And maybe I'll actually bring a river to connect in between like this lake and the lake that's maybe way over there and have maybe like some water in the middle here and have some rivers to go around and stuff. And I think it'll look generally okay. At least I hope it does. We'll see. Um, the back of this obviously is not done. Don't, don't look at that. Don't, and we'll, we'll take care of that later. But other than that, yeah. Well, look, they're going to go sit down. They're going to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you with this. So thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, it, it, this game just is so fantastic and, and please, it means a lot when you guys like and comment and sub and please subscribe, of course. But I mean, like this, just, just comment on my stuff. Let me know, like, let me know what you think. I read every comment. I try to reply to every comment and it, it means a lot to me hearing feedback and stuff. So thanks guys. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.